I too acknowledge the Wurundjeri people, the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, people of the Kulin Nation, and I pay my respects to their elders past and present. Your Honours, the Honourable Ben Carroll, Parliamentary Secretary, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Around 12 years ago, a meeting was convened by the Victorian Department of Justice for cross-jurisdictional interest with representatives from a New York Centre for Innovation in the Courts. The meeting was held at the old Treasury building at the top of Collins Street in Spring Street. Many of us went along. I, as a Supreme Court judge, really wondered what was this all about? Most of us were quite puzzled. Then we were told an extraordinary story about the Red Hook Community Justice Centre in Brooklyn. It was a description of a cut-through, one-stop justice institution which focused on solving problems rather than the process. I suspect for the judiciary in the room at the time of that meeting, the concept was wholly challenging. It certainly was for me. Our judicial mindset generally uses the courtroom as the access for justice. It is very difficult for judges and magistrates to think beyond the square of the courtroom. The meeting I refer to led to the establishment of a wholly innovative concept, the Collingwood Neighbourhood Justice Centre. The vision, commitment and determination of those in Victoria who took the Red Hook concept and adjusted it to the Victorian context must be congratulated and truly admired. Their legacy through the use of the Red Hook model has had and will continue to have an enduring, reforming and innovative impact on access to justice in this state. From the very humble beginnings of the then rundown and neglected Collingwood Technical School and later called TAFE, the Neighbourhood Justice Centre emerged. A key to the effectiveness of a justice system is its recidivism rate and the capacity for rehabilitation, which reduces recidivism. The NJC has proved to be an exemplar in both respects. Over a period of 10 years, it has tackled and solved the most challenging justice problems that humanity can bring forward. Fundamental to the NJC's success is the experience for the individual who is in trouble. From the moment the individual enters the door of the NJC in Wellington Street, there has been a constant embracing atmosphere of help, support and protection. The NJC is not a court precinct of intimidation or fear. At the same time, under the leadership of His Honour Magistrate Fanning, an extraordinarily accessible institution of justice has emerged. Based as it has been on the Red Hook model, the NJC has provided the genesis and inspiration for the problem-solving technique. Here in Victoria, we need only reflect on the drug court, the mental health court and the KISS program. Most recently, the high watermark of the influence of the NJC on the Victorian justice system is reflected in the recommendation of the Royal Commission into Family Violence, the Neve report, for the establishment of hubs which will provide problem-solving shelter and protective centres drawing on the one-stop shop cut-through model for those drawn into the criminal justice system through family violence. I must confess that I did not fully comprehend the relevance and significance of the community justice centre model until I actually went to Red Hook. There I had the privilege and honour of not only meeting his honour, Judge Alex Calabresi, but of actually sitting on the bench with him. His sabre-thrusting approach towards all who came before him 
mixed with a strong sense of justice and compassion was an inspiration. Many Victorians have visited Red Hook and met the judge. All of us have been deeply affected by our fortunate encounter. Sitting on the bench as I was with his honour, I was astounded by his cut through approach. At one point, when a self-represented litigant was trying to explain the difficulties she was having with a housing authority, his honour said, stop, wait a minute. The judge then reached into his pocket, rummaged under his judicial robes, pulled out his cell phone and called the housing officer manager directly from the bench. <laughs> Needless to say, the matter was very quickly mediated <laughs> and resolved to the satisfaction of all, well certainly most. Judge Calabresi finished his conversation with the particular housing official advising that he, his honour, had not visited the housing facility for some time and would arrange to visit very soon, possibly next week. His honour demonstrated a case management skill and follow-up capacity that is a role model to us all in the judiciary. An anniversary is something to be celebrated. It is a time to reflect on where an institution has come from, how and what has been achieved, it is also a time to look forward to the future and contemplate how the NJC will forge a new path forward. I wish all at the NJC well in the next phase of their vision. I congratulate the founders and those who have worked in the NJC on 10 magnificent years. And I particularly join with many in paying tribute to the former Attorney General, Rob Holes, on his vision. May I leave you with one question. Given the success of the NJC, is it time to consider another one? In asking that question, I suggest Collingwood provides the perfect template. Thank you.